Okay, I'm going to show you the best way to use your rototiller and what to do to till your garden. Now this garden has already been rototilled. If you were going on to, on to brand new sod, it's a whole different story. But when you're doing the garden that's already been done, it should till fairly easily. This part of the garden is quite nice soil. Up at the other end, not so good, lots of stones in it. So what you may see with this when we get up to that end is the machine will bounce a little bit. Every time it hits a good sized stone it will bounce. And part of soil preparation is getting the stones out of the garden. And where I live here we have a lot of stone in the garden. So this part of the garden is older, it's been worked more, has a lot more soil amendments in it and is easier to till. Nonetheless, what you're going to see is I've got my depth stake set as, as high as it'll go so that the tilt machine will go as deep as it can possibly go. And you really have to hold on to these. This is a front tine rototiller. It pulls the machine along with the tines and if I really want it to run and, and dig deep, I almost have to hold it back like I'm driving an old plow horse. So I'm going to start now. When you plow, uh, uh, when you're rototilling a garden, you have to make nice wide turns. Don't fight with the machine more than you have to. The wider the turn, the easier it will be for you to turn the machine. But you do physically have to do it with your own strength. So I'm going to start the machine. I'll take it up and I'll bring it around to show you the sort of sweeping motion that you should do.